Welcome to my channel. My name's Captain Crush. I got about three to five propositions that I'm going to discuss today on this channel. Listen, it's still week one. We don't have a lot of analytics or data to go by, so we're kind of just guessing we're flying blind here, but we're going to get it done. The goal is a daily YouTube video every single day. That's probably 180 days of YouTube videos for the NBA season. My God in heaven, I'm an insane man, but I will get it done for you guys. If you click the link, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys with that in mind. Let's break this puzzle be down. So we are blessed with 11 games today for the NBA slate. I can't wait till we start to get five to seven games per day. Two is too small and 11 is just a little bit too much. But that being said, we will be targeting a couple of these games. Number one, Pistons and Hornets with an over under 225, four and a half point spread is solid. Denver Nuggets, Memphis Grizzlies over 220 and a half, five and a half points dogs for Memphis. And then my personal favorite is probably going to be the Rockets versus the Spurs. The Spurs are favored by three. And then obviously at the end here, you have the late night hammer, the Golden State Warriors versus the Kings. The Kings are favored by three and a half. Look at that juicy over under total, baby. You love to see it. Now, how does that correlate to prize picks, Captain? Well, let's hold on to your horses and we're going to get there. You know why you're here. You're here for the fantasy scores. But first, I want to talk about the sleeper slip yesterday. Nurkic, nine rebounds. Cash, Akogi, 12 and a half points, rebounds, cash, digs, discount, cash, and everybody was doubting Kincaid and he cashed. Not only did he cash receptions, he cashed yards, fantasy score, the lot of it. When I told you Knox was going to be out, it was always going to be Kincaid and it was always Akogi without Booker, folks. That's just the reality that we live in. And then the other one that I want to talk about is the TikTok live slip that I make, which I do every single day on TikTok live streams. I give you three options, you vote as a community, and this is what we came up with Josh Allen cash Mayfield cash Kogi cash Maxi cash Prince he absolutely sold the man was in foul trouble from day one and then he got one steal and that was it he couldn't make a shot he's never gonna be in my slips again just kidding he'll probably be in my slip next week bounce back so now that we did that recap what do we got for today captain well first we're gonna find Alperin Sengun here's the deal with Mr. Sengun he's in a great matchup I don't care about Wemby I'm not buying it. He's projected for 42 fantasy points with a ceiling of 52 and he has a little floor of 33. I'm projecting him for 33 minutes and his usage rate is 20%. Most of you that have been following me for a hot minute, you know I love to target centers and I love the fast paced matchup. Both of those things equal opportunity, which opportunity plus usage equals minutes equals money. Let's go. One thing that grinds my gears is every time you put in a name there, Prize Picks website tries to auto correct it and it tilts me to no end. But that that being said, they don't have a fantasy score up yet for Mr. Sengun because they're scared, but we do have a PRA, so if you want to target the PRA or his points rebounds, which is 25.5, any one of these three, I would probably stay away from the points. I like him with the points rebounds or the PRA. My favorite would be his fantasy score again, which they don't have up because if he gets a few blocks and steals, which he should, it's a fast-paced matchup, high total, but for now, either one of these is going to be fine. I will rock with it. So for argument's sake, let's just say his PRA. Coming up next, we got Clint Capella. I got him projected for 32 fantasy points with a ceiling of 39, a floor of 22 with a small snidge of a usage rate of 13% and he's going to project for 29 minutes. Once again, there's no fantasy score for Mr. Capella. So you can do one of two things. You can take his points rebounds or you can take his points rebounds assist. Is it likely that he gets an assist? Probably not. He does have a floor of maybe zero, but he does have a ceiling of one to two. He will get one or two every now and again. The matchup is meh. Anyone that's going to sit here and try to break down these matchups for you week one when they haven't even played yet really is an absolute fool. And I'm not going to be that guy. I'm not just going to go by last year's seasons and come out here and try to sell you guys on something okay i'm taking these based on model projections but also my gut it's like music to me sometimes when i see these propositions on the board it literally is like humming a tune i just know when the lines are out of sync sounds crazy right but it's true okay clint capella i had him at nine and a half points this morning they already bumped him up to 10 so now we want to look at this or this again if they have fantasy scores that's the move but for now we will settle with this and none of these are locks there's no such thing as a lock if you ask me for a lock i'm automatically going to lose five 
five respect points for you. And if you're playing an RPG and you lose five points in a similar attribute, it ain't pretty. So please, I'm begging you, don't ask me for stupid things like a lock. There ain't anything. If there was locks, I'd be a millionaire and I wouldn't be coming on YouTube to give you guys any help. I'd be counting and rolling around in my million. I mean, let's just keep it 100, fam. All right, now from that same game, you got Mr. Devin Vassal. The kid usually chucks. He hasn't chucked a lot last game, but I can't go by that. I do like more 17 and a half points. They are favored to win. His fantasy score, again, they don't have a fantasy score up for this guy. I don't know what's going on with the lack of fantasy scores. They don't have anything up for the Warriors and Kings game either. It's absolutely insane. Do with what we have to work with, folks. This is what we got. This is what we'll use. As you can see from the handy dandy notepad, I got him projected for 32 fantasy points, 20% usage in 33 minutes. Again, all these are just projections. Models don't know anything right now. It is what it is. So I will take that as well. All right, let's move on to the final piece. Xavier Tillman, more 29 fantasy points. I have him projected for 33 fantasy points with a ceiling of 42 and a floor of 25, a small usage rate of 14% with 33 minutes projection. Okay, this is the deal. He had an outlier game last game versus the Pelicans. The Pelicans ain't it. They ain't, oh, they never will be it. They aren't it. It was Ingram under cash. But Xavier Tillman, I think he can put up another big game okay now what is the trend you notice about these guys that i have center 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 i love targeting centers in the nba for prize picks because you just get all the juicy blocks steals points rebounds they do get some turnovers but not as much as a guard who has it in their hands all the time that's why their usage rates are always going to be smaller because they don't have the ball in their hands as much like a guard but they still put up a lot of fantasy so i will take this i know it's against the joker and the denver nuggets i have another prop that is my play of the day over for my discord that i like a lot i'm not giving away everything on youtube there's tons of props it's an 11 game slate you guys got to get creative okay i don't like four mans so you know what i'm gonna throw in one more and make it an even five let me see what we got here let's do it live some of these pictures man these guys need jesus i don't understand what's going on with these mugshot photos these guys got they look like they just escaped the pen or something what's up i mean look at this guy. look at this what do we got dylan brooks bro you're a millionaire in the nba smile like you got life worth living buddy what is this come on you ain't scaring nobody hey with that in mind they just put fantasy scores up for my boys sengun and vassal bang so get rid of the pra and you can take sengun's fantasy score there it is 35 it's a little high but i still like it same thing with mr vassal over here 31.5 I like that too. There we go. Bang. Patient man gets the worm. All right. The last piece of the puzzle that I'll put in there is from that Denver game too. Listen, if we had the Golden State Warriors projections up, I'd be hammering that game for you guys. But I'm going to throw some dice because it's Flex Friday and I'm going to take Jaron Jackson Jr. under 36 and a half fantasy points. Why? Because it was 38 last game and he didn't come anywhere close, but because he's going to be in a game environment where he should be getting tons of fouls. Now, let's just be honest here if he gets three blocks and steals bang talk it because he's soaring over but if he can stay away from the blocks and steals then i like him to stay under so you can throw that piece in there as well and you know what i'm feeling froggy so i'm gonna leap they lowered jalen brown's fantasy score all the way down to 33 and a half i had it at 35 under now he's in a miami matchup which is even worse than when he played the knicks give me less on mr jalen brown there's just too many mouths to feed over there i'm gonna go ahead and take it i don't even need a projection or a model i'm just kidding i got the projection but i'm not gonna go through and break it down again the videos will be more analytic heavy after about two to three weeks i'll be using my own website to help with that listen this is is what you got to do take what i say with a grain of salt people it's still week one do what your gut tells you to do it's always going to be better when you make your own reads and you go by your own decision all right i'm going to plug my own discord real quick and look at all these winning slips look at all these green beans it's a ton of green beans last night all through nba season but it's not just nba it's nfl i ate an nfl last night i can't wait for sunday i give DraftKings and nfl projections every week and on top of that i have some pretty cool cats in there for the most part there are some clowns like any discord it is what it is but these guys give out their plays too shout out to greg he's always in the mix plugging his uh his plays of the day and whatnot he's been on a little heater good job greg who else is always giving out plays oh yeah spartan shout out to spartan he's always helping people out with plays of the day shout out to anyone in here i know i'm missing a bunch of names i got people retro rjm 
with the esports. CC posts her flip slips for you guys. Burr helps out a lot, posts things. Neek helps out. A lot of people help out in the court. I appreciate all you guys trying to shout you guys out. But of course, I'm doing it live and I'm drawing a blank because that's how it goes. Oh, wait, Chow. Can't forget about Chow. Chow is the NHL guy. And anyone else who's doing tennis, Marobi, gatekeeping all the tennis. Appreciate you guys. Give you a little shout out. Give you a little bit of a look. All right. That being said, we're moving on tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'll have an NBA video out for you guys. I will have I will have a NFL video out for week eight with game stacks, projections, the lot of it. Appreciate you guys coming to my channel. If you're new here and you want to get, take a splash, captaincrush.net. That's the cord. I will be on TikTok live stream at four or five central where we make a community slip yesterday's went 2x is today we go in 10x we'll have to wait and see but i also do a discord live slip for the paid members appreciate you guys good luck tonight in all your contests and as always let's crush